Hello, my name is Muni Chari and this is Muni Chari Yoga. Thank you so much for coming along today. Sorry I haven't posted a yoga class for ages, unfortunately I injured my back. So I've been teaching lots of yoga but haven't been able to record any yoga sessions at home. So, sorry about that, but we'll get into it today. Today we're going to do a maybe 20 minute long vinyasa session, which is going to incorporate lots of stepping into lunges, we'll be stepping into dragons, stepping into crescent lunges, stepping into a gecko, you may not have done a gecko before, but we'll be doing that today, and some bound dragons, arms behind the back, a little bit of balancing, some warrior twos, and some warrior ones, so let's get started, let's smash it out, <laughs> pushing over onto your hands and knees, let's try wrists under your shoulders, knees underneath your hips, tuck your toes underneath, and we're not cat cow breathing here, no, we're moving the whole body. Inhale forwards, come down between your hands. Exhale, push back and sit on your heels. Keep going. Inhale forwards. Exhale back. Keep the breath in and out through your nose. Core muscles switched on nice and strong. And just do three more like that. If you like, lift your knees up, make it like a press up as you lower down. And a press up to push back, drop your knees. Two to go. Inhale forwards. Exhale back. Inhale forwards, and exhale back, and then the last one, inhale forwards, and exhale back, dropping the knees, bring yourself back up to hands and knees, stretching out extended puppy dog pose, let's get your arms out straight, maybe chest and chin to the ground, looking forwards, remember it's not child's pose, keep your hips over your knees, lift your feet up, also, two breaths to go. Inhaling and exhale, drop your feet, come back up onto your hands. Little twist, I'll spin around for that. Little twist, inhale, raise your right arm up to the ceiling. Exhale, thread underneath, threading the needle. Drop onto your shoulder and let's wrap the left arm around your back. So the right arm stretched out, left arm's binding around your back. Trying to reach your right hip or thigh. It's only two weeks to go and now the yoga teacher training that I'll be teaching will be starting up. So it's almost upon us. Inhale, come back up onto your hands and knees. Probably won't be recording any classes here. And now switch your left arm up to the ceiling. Exhale, fire the arm underneath. Wrap the right arm around your back. Nice deep breathing in and out through your nose. Then inhale, come back up to hands and knees. And then time to get moving. Let's tuck the toes underneath. Exhale, downwards facing dog. Up in this down dog, bit of walking on the spot. Remember, keep your hands at the front of the mat. Bring your feet a little bit closer to your hands. A couple of inches. And then from the down dog. And now head up, bend your knees. Jump or step between your hands. A little halfway lift. Try fingertips to the ground if you can reach, palms facing, or hands on your shins. Exhale, forward bending all the way down. Then inhale, raise the arms up, stretch up to the ceiling, look up to your thumbs. Flowing again, exhale, forward bend all the way down. Inhale, head up, nice flat back. Exhale, jump or step back to plank. Go high plank, low plank. Inhale, up dog, strain your arms. Exhale, downwards facing dog. And just a tiny step forwards. Two breaths here in down dog. And once again, inhale, head up, bend your knees. Jump, float forwards. Halfway lift. Exhale, to forward bend. Inhale, raise the arms up, stretch up, look up. Exhale, forward bend again all the way down. Inhale, head up, nice flat back. Exhale, jump or step back to plank. High plank, low plank, inhale up dog. Exhale, downwards facing dog. Let's find the right leg, inhale, lift it, super high, bend your knee. Let the foot drop over to the left side. Get as much rotation as you can in your lower body, lifting the knee, dropping the foot. Inhale, straight in that right leg. Step between your hands, crescent lunge. Now stay low at first, don't lift your pelvis. And inhale, just raise the arms up real strong. 
stretching up to the ceiling. Try and rotate your arms, little fingers inwards. So externally rotate your arms. It's really good for your shoulders. Inhale, look forwards. Exhale, hands to the ground. Step back to plank, high plank, low plank. Inhale, up dog. And exhale, downwards facing dog. Left side, inhale, raise that left leg high as. Bend the knee, foot drops to the right, and just stay there. Try and keep your right foot still pointing straight ahead. Left foot can be toes pointed. Then inhale, straight under the left leg. Exhale, step between your hands. Once again, hold the low lunge. And inhale, raise up to the crescent lunge. Get that nice rotation of your arms, so little fingers turn inwards. Inhale, look straight ahead. Exhale, hands to the ground. Jump back to plank. Flow high plank, low plank. Inhale for up dog. And exhale, downwards facing dog. From your down dog, inhale, raise the right leg super high again. Step between your hands. Inhale up to the crescent lunge. Raise the arms up, tip toes of the back foot. Then look forwards as you inhale, bring your palms to touch. We're going to twist to the right hand side. Left elbow down, right elbow up. Get the biggest twist you can manage, pushing down with your hands. So the right elbow points up, left elbow points down. If you like, if you want to try, separate your hands here. Left hand to the ground, right hand to the ceiling. What about the bind? Pass the left arm underneath and just wrap the right arm around your back. See if you can join hands here. It's easy to do if you haven't just had lunch or dinner or something. Then separate the hands. Inhale and look forwards. Bring your palms to touch. Stretch up to the crescent lunge. And exhale, hands to the ground. Jump back to plank. Flow, high plank, low plank. Inhale, up dog. And exhale, downwards facing dog. Left side, I'll turn around for that. Inhale, raise your left leg high. Exhale, step between your hands. Remember that crescent lunge. My strong arms, inhale. Exhale, palms together, looking forwards. Now we'll go left side, right elbow down, left elbow up. Get your elbows pointing opposite directions. Separate the hands if you can. Right hand down, left hand up. Maybe right arm goes underneath and left arm around your back to join. Just two more deep breaths. Then separate your hands. If they will join, palms together looking forwards. And now stretch up for that crescent lunge. Exhale, hands to the ground, drop back to plank. Flow, high plank, low plank. Inhale, up dog. And exhale, downwards facing dog. Take two breaths in down dog, so I can swap sides. <laughs> and inhale, raise your right leg high again. Bend your knee, let the foot drop to the left side. Let's try flipping over. Pushing strongly down into both feet to lift your hips up high. Bring the right arm over your head. See if you can still smile and talk while you do it. Two breaths to go. One to go, wave to our next turn over. And inhale back over again, right hand down, right leg to the ceiling. Step around your right hand, dragon's pose. We're going for straight arms and a straight back leg. See if you can look forwards. Hold that strong shape. We're doing a couple of them, so we won't stay long in each one. One more breath. Inhale. Exhale, back to plank. High plank, low plank. Inhale, up dog. And exhale, downwards facing dog. Tiny step. We'll flip on the other side. Left leg raises high. Bend the knee. Foot drops to the right. Flip over. Left arms over your head. Strong with both legs. Serving a point downwards with your left hand. Two breaths to go. One to go. And now back over, left hand to the ground, left leg to the ceiling. Stay there for a breath. Lift the left leg a little bit higher. Inhale, exhale, step between your hands. It's crescent lunge again, raise the arms up, stretch up to the ceiling. Sorry, that was totally different to the other side, but that's all right. Exhale, hands to the ground, jump back to plank. Varieties of spice of life. High plank, low plank, inhale up, dog. 
and exhale, downwards facing dog. Okay, we'll do what we lift out. Inhale, raise your left leg high. Step around your left hand, dragon's pose. Okay, the mental block for a moment. Remember the dragons, that's left foot forwards, left knees up to your shoulder. Arms are straight, back legs straight. Real strong. Your hands aren't doing much here. You could probably hover them off the ground, but we'll do that later. Inhale. Exhale, jump back to plank. Flow, high plank, low plank. Inhale for up dog. Exhale, downwards facing dog. Sorry for that little <laughs> bubble in the road. In the, in the water then, inhale, raise your right leg super high. And we're going to step around your right hand again, dragon, but twisting now, right arm up to the ceiling, look up to your right thumb. Two breaths to go, keep your back leg strong and straight. Inhaling, exhale, right hand down, left hand up, spread your right fingers wide and stretch your left arm up to the ceiling. Get that big strong twist. Inhale, exhale, left hand down, jump back to plank. High plank, low plank, and out up dog. And exhale, downwards facing dog. Left side, inhale, raise the left leg high, and exhale, step around the left hand. Get the dragon, but the dragon with a twist. Inhale, left arm up to the ceiling. This side's generally easier. It's easier to support on your right arm. Inhale, exhale, left hand down, fingers spread wide, right arm up. Even look up if you can. Look sideways or down if you need to. Two breaths to go, back leg straight. One to go. Inhale, exhale, both hands back to the ground, jump back to plank, but back in plank. And let's bring your ankles to touch. Make it a side plank, tip onto your right hand side. Stretch your left arm up to the ceiling. See how high you can lift your pelvis and hold your balance. Two breaths to go. One to go. It's getting warm here. Inhale, exhale, back to your regular plank and flow actually. High plank, low plank. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downwards facing dog. Tiny step forwards in your down dog. Inhale, forwards to plank. So I keep changing sides. Left hand down and right hand up to side plank. Lift your pelvis, balance, breathing, keep your gaze on a stationary point. And just two more breaths. One more breath. Inhale. Exhale. Both hands are back to the mat. Let's flow. High plank, low plank. Inhale, up dog. And exhale, downwards facing dog. It's gecko time. Inhale, raise your right leg super high. Exhale, step around your right hand. Now, interesting pose this one. Set up like a dragon with your right foot just turned out to the side. But now it's like press ups. You bend your elbows and bring the left side of your head to the ground. So you look at your right foot and then come up again. Try it again. Come down to the ground. Don't touch your knee to the ground, the other knee, obviously. <laughs> and come back up. Do it twice more. Exhale down and inhale up. Make it sound like you get a gecko if you can. So down, inhale up and jump back to plank. Flow, high plank, low plank. Inhale up, dog. And exhale, downwards facing dog. I'll face away from the camera now, but that's all right. Inhale, raise your left leg high. Exhale, step around your left hand. Gecko straight away. Come down, look at your left foot. Push back up. Exhale down. And now just two to go. Exhale down. And hull up. One to go. Exhale down. And hull up. Jump back to plank. Flow. High plank, low plank. And hull up, dog. Point your toes. And exhale down. It's facing dog. There's only one dragon to go now. Maybe two. And now raise your right leg super high. Exhale, step around your right hand. Now it's a drinking dragon. Take your hands out wide in front of you. Stretch the arms out, maybe top of your head to the ground. And stay, can you keep your back leg straight as? And the arms straight as well. Then inhale, come back up onto your hands. And from this low position, see if the bind is available. That's right arm underneath and left arm around your back to join. Keep your hair, be strong, breathing happening. Now staying bound like this for like half an hour will be really hard. So we'll just do two more breaths. Inhale, exhale, hands to the ground, jump back to plank. 
So high plank, low plank, core still switched on. Inhale up, dog. And exhale, downwards facing dog. Other side, inhale, raise your left leg high. Exhale, step around the left hand. Drinking dragon, remember flat out like a lizard drinking or a dragon drinking. Stretch your arms out wide. And see if the top of your head can touch the ground or the forehead to the ground. Keep your right knee lifted. Inhale, come back up onto your hands. Adjust your glasses, come back up onto your hands. Take the bind. Left arm underneath, right arm around your back. This side's easier if you're right handed, generally. Stay just two more breaths. So we'll stay three breaths because it's easier. Now two to go. One to go. Inhale, then exhale, both hands on the ground, jump back to plank, flow, high plank, low plank. Inhale, up dog. And exhale, downwards facing dog. Tiny step forwards, two breaths. Well, I change sides. Inhale, raise your right leg high. Exhale, step between your hands. We're gonna inhale up to warrior one, so turn that back heel in. Rotate the whole back leg as you do that. Exhale, warrior two. So see we come to warrior two. Supported warrior two, though, rest the right arm on your thigh. Get that long extended side angle. Stretching up with your left arm. Relax your right hand. Two breaths to go. Make it a little bit harder. And now raise both arms up. Have your palms facing like a yoga block distance apart for your hands. Two breaths to go. One to go. Inhale, stretch back out to warrior two. Exhale, hands to the ground, jump back to plank. High plank, low plank, inhale up dog. And exhale, downwards facing dog. Tiny step forwards. Do the other side, inhale, raise your left leg high as step between your hands. Inhale, up to warrior one. Exhale, out to warrior two. Look over your left middle finger forwards. Inhale, exhale, resting. Left arm on your thigh, stretch the right arm over the top. See if you can. Take another breath. Then we're gonna inhale, lift the left elbow off the thigh, and then straighten the arms out. Two breaths to go. One breath to go. Inhale, then exhale, hands to the ground, jump back to plank. High plank, low plank, inhale for up dog. And exhale, downwards facing dog. Tiny step forward, just two more breaths here in the down dog. One more breath. And now head up, bend your knees. Just drop onto your knees and then spin around to a seated position with your legs extended out in front. Now I did say we'd go for about 20 minutes, so we're getting near the end of our session already. Glasses is fogging up. That's okay, a little forward bend here. Let's try it with your right leg bent. Foot's right up to, heels right up to the groin, foot's against your left thigh. And we're stretching out over this left leg. So inhale, stretch out as best as you can. And then exhaling to fold over the left leg. Quad thigh muscle of your left leg fully activated. Drawing in your belly as you fold forwards. Two breaths to go. Then inhale, head up, straight arms. Exhale to the counter pose, which is going to be right hand on the ground. And just lift your pelvis up, straight left leg, bent right leg. Bring the left arm right over your head. Inhaling. Exhale, bring yourself back to the mat, straight in the right leg. And left leg's the same, bend that knee lot, set the knee drop to the side. I've got some issues with my left knee, so a little bit careful, I might get a bit of space between the foot and the thigh. But have yours right up next to it if there's no problems. Inhale, stretch out over the right leg, straight arms, then exhaling to fold down. Keep your nice deep breathing happening. Yeah, so with my back injury, it meant I couldn't do any flexion, which is this, couldn't fold forwards, which is really hard if you practice yoga a lot, not being able to fold forwards. Two breaths to go. Bit of 
it's much better now. And now head up, straight up. Exhale, let's release, go left hand to the ground, take the counter pose, push your pelvis forwards, right arms over your head. Get that nice arch in your back. Inhaling, and an exhale, bring yourself back down to the ground again. Lots of forward bending there. So stretch your, uh, overall, at least stretch your legs out long and straight. And then bending your knees, lie flat on your back. We'll just do a couple of shoulder bridges to finish off. So knees are bent, feet are flat, least hip distance apart. Arms beside your body, inhale, push down and lift up. Get up onto your shoulders. Interlace the fingers underneath. Remember, try and push downwards with your feet, not in the direction of your toes. This will slide up the mat. Definitely engage your glutes and your hamstrings here to lift you up a little bit higher. We do a couple, so easy. Release your hands, exhale, lower down. Straight away, repeat. And now press down, lift up. Lock your fingers. Get up onto your shoulders. Two breaths to go. Inhaling. Exhale, release your hands, lowering down. What about doing it one more time? Press into your feet, lift up. A little differently though, get onto your shoulders, lock your fingers. Inhale, raise your right leg up high as you can go. Even point your toes. Inhale, exhale, bring it down. Left leg as high as you can. Point your toes. Inhale, exhale, bring that leg down, release your hands. Ah, whole body's back to the mat. Let's do one as Urdhva Dhanurasana, as upward bow, even though we weren't going to. You talked me into it. So make sure your hands aren't slippery. And bring the hands just beside your head, or under your shoulders, but beside your head works good. Big, big inhale, we're gonna push up off the mat using your legs, don't worry about your arms. Just drive down into your legs, lift yourself up. Nice opening across your chest. Bring the weight over your hands as much as you can. And it's just three breaths to go. One. Two. And then three, gently back to the mat. Let's fix these glasses one day. Gently back to the mat. And just hug your knees in towards your chest. A little bit of rocking from side to side. Supta Baddha Kanasana, that's bringing the soles of the feet together and the knees just drop out to the sides. You can do a bit of butterfly there, up and down or rocking side to side. Just relaxing your pelvis. And just come to neutral there for a moment. <sighs> nice deep breaths in and out through your nose. So a little session there, we're going to do some variations of that in the future that we're using Dragon especially as our kind of powerful low lunging posture, the variations of Dragon. Like I said, we'll do more in the future. For the moment though, let's come straight to our final Shavasana from here. Stretch your legs out long and straight. Relax the arms beside your body. I'll stay with you for a few moments and then I'll leave you to relax for as long as you like. Remember in the Shavasana, be aware of how your body has moved. Feel any changes in your body. Try and relax any tense areas. You can stay there as long as you like. But for now, I will say thank you so much for coming and looking forward to seeing you next time. Namaste. Hare Krishna.